Hi, it's Danny here, and in this video, I want to do a tutorial for FigJam, how to use it, what it can do, and just go through some of the basic tools. Now, FigJam is one of these websites that's been mooted by Google as a replacement for Jamboard. Now, I really like Jamboard. It's sad that it's disappearing, but actually, FigJam is a pretty good replacement and it has all the features of Jamboard and actually a whole lot more as well. It's free if you are in education. Um, sign up for an account, and then they will approve your account and give you a free educator's account. When you go to Figma.com, you see the starter page like this. We're going to go up here and click on Fig Jam Board to get a new Fig Jam page. Just a quick note, click Import, and you can import your Jamboard files. I'll do a separate video on that in the future. Fig Jam Board there. When you go into Fig Jam, you can choose um, some of their templates. There's a whole other templates over here. Start the template, and you can choose lots of different templates for meetings and brainstorming and planning and so on. I'll leave them for now. I'll just go through the basic tools, but obviously you can play with those at your leisure. At the bottom of the screen, you've got your basic tools. Like all the things when you're, I'm using interactive whiteboard software, I want to know where the pens, the shapes, the text tools are, and the other things are kind of fun as well. So let's start with the pen. The pen is here. You click on the pen and you've got a marker pen by default there and then you've got these colors here these are the colors that we'll have to start with but actually you have a whole range of colors if those aren't enough you can click on there and choose some more so I'm going to click on the marker pen um, you can choose basically two different thicknesses the thin one or a thick one let's start with the, the thin one and let's just write some it on the screen there we go um, we've also then got the highlighter pen with the highlighter you've got the seven shows of highlighter here and you've got the two different thicknesses again probably go thicker with the highlighter I'm going to choose yellow and I'm just going to highlight writing like that pen and highlighter pen are there you also then have the eraser just here so we can click on the eraser and get rid of the stuff let's just click on the marker and write my my hello back i didn't want to undo for the minute um, you also have washi tape and you have a whole range of different washi tapes just kind of here different kind of styles if you wanted it to maybe tape off an area or add a border to a particular part of the screen then you can use a washi tape like that Let's just delete that. Next to that, we have the shapes. So we have at the moment an ellipse chosen. If I click on that little pointy chevron just pointing up there, I have these shapes here. By default, I've got those four. And then on shape, I can choose all these other shapes as well. And again, a choice of colors and then custom color chooser should I wish to have it. I'll leave the shapes for a minute and just kind of go through the, the moving around on the screen. Now I've got something on the screen to show you. I'm on my computer, so I've got my mouse here. I'm gonna click the middle mouse button and the middle mouse button will pan around my screen. Um, but if you're at the interactive whiteboard, then obviously you go to the hand tool and the hand tool will then just click on the screen and that will move you around. Um, moving the wheel just moves you up and down. It doesn't zoom in. If you want to zoom in up in the top right corner, uh, there's your zoom. Now FigJam, unlike Jamboard, doesn't have multiple pages, it has one great big infinite camera. So at the moment we're zoomed in 100% on this bit of writing here. If I want to zoom in, I can zoom in some more and it will zoom in quite a lot. Um, or I can zoom out and start to get an idea of how big the page is that I can write on. So you've got a you know, huge canvas that you can write on. Um, to help you, you can divide up the areas into sections and I'll cover that in a minute where you can basically set up sections and you can hide particular parts of the screen, you can repeat parts of the screen and allocate parts of the screen to different students. So I'll do that in a minute, but just for the moment, here's my writing here. I'll do one more thing that um, this will do, which is the post-it notes. So I can click on the sticky notes, I can drag the sticky notes up and I can just write. I use the sticky notes a lot in Jamboard. They were quite good for getting people brainstorming. And like Jamboard, I can share this um, page with multiple people and we can have lots of people then adding post-it notes and adding pictures and adding text and so on to the screen. So if I want to have other things on the screen, two things you might want to do. One would be to insert images and one would be to insert um, uh, videos. It's quite easy to just cut and paste from other places. So basically, I've just gone to a, a web page. I've just copied an image of a skeleton. I can then click on the screen here. I can just control and V. I can paste an image in you don't have to do anything too flash to import images in so what we could do maybe would be to have some connective lines here I'm going to add some some labels to my screen let's add some arrows to the screen here I'm then going to click on the the shapes tool I'm going to drag out shape I don't want it that color so what I'm going to do is just click on the shape here and choose a different color so a nice pale yellow because I can see the writing better so I'm going to type in here um, skull what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it because I want several shapes which are the same and I'm going to have this so I'm going to be skull and that's going to be femur and that's going to be uh, humorous 
and maybe we could have an activity like an old interactive whiteboard activity where we have the labels down here and we can ask students to guess what the labels are and we can drag the labels up to the correct place and put them onto the board. So humerus is there and femur is there and skull is up there. Let's have another couple of labels. So let's add um, maybe one more label. Let's paste that in there. And we're gonna have a, a blank label now. Get rid of all of these. Uh, add one more arrow and let's label the the pelvis. So I want students to label that as part of an activity and they can all log into this page. So I'm going to click on a section and I'm going to make that one section. So I'm going to drag out to make that a section. And I can call that page one or I could call that maybe group one. And what I could then do would be copy that section and paste it and it will produce an identical copy of that section over here and it puts it right next door. Let's maybe zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing pan across and I'll maybe my paste that in again so that's now group three so if I've got three breakout groups or three groups in my class I can get different groups to work in different pages I can send out the link and get them working on that two ways of doing that first one is I can go up to the share and I can go to um, an open session I can start an open session which means that for the next 24 hours anybody can go onto this page and start interacting with it as long as I give them the link so I would start an open session and I would copy the link um, you can also um, right click on the section and copy a link to a section and so you could say right group one here is your link and group one will only get to see that section and group two and group three will go to that section I could then maybe copy and paste that I can bring this one down here and maybe on this section I might put the answers so I might have skull humerus pelvis and a femur and for now I might click on that and I might click on the eye here I might hide that section so that's the answer I don't want anybody seeing that yet until I'm ready to reveal it so I can have groups one two and three working on there then when I want to I can then click on here reveal the answer and then we can zoom in on that and the whole class can see what the the correct answer would be so the sections are quite fun and quite powerful uh, you could also use that maybe if you was trying to treat this more like a traditional presentation you could group your different pages together so we could show what you know pay, think of the sections as pages and I could have some content here and then when I've shown that content when I've shown that content we can then go to page two we can go to page three and so on so you can have that whole screen's worth and you can move from page to page so that'd be quite nice just one thing with shapes actually while I'm here if you click on the shape um, when you've typed in your your text the shape also you can you can resize that shape if you want to um, when you've clicked on the shape if you click on the anchors around the side you can drag out a connecting line to another shape so if you wanted to start building up a flow chart then you could do you have some text to there we can drag that down here and have another shape we can drag that over here have another shape so you can start connecting shapes up so for brainstorming this would be quite good we can start to do different kinds of diagram where we are connecting shapes to each other um, and once it's there it doesn't have to be a, a vertical or horizontal line we can drag it out so we could start dragging out um, to make a mind map if we wanted to like that which is quite fun so we have the basic tools in Jamboard so I've gone through pen text tool is here if you want to just type on the screen click on the T just start typing in Again, that's quite small at the moment, but you can change the font size if you want to, and obviously we can zoom in. That's quite small because I'm zoomed out a little bit. If you want to um, insert a table, the table tool is there. Just click on there, and you can insert as big a table as you want to. You can start entering data into that. That's quite nice. Um, there are also a couple of the cool features down here. One is a stamp. So if the students were working on different pages and you want to give them some kind of feedback, you can click on the stamp and we've got emojis which you can give them or you can give them um, feedback things here. So if someone was really good, you might be able to give them a thumbs up. Yeah, well done, that's pretty cool. Or we could give them a, a heart if you really like their, their contribution. You can start to add, add the feedback there. Okay, some other things that are just worth knowing. One is the widgets, and the widgets are here. So if we click on more, there are a whole range of different widgets which are kind of plug into different things which work on here. Um, simple things like uh, dice or alignment scales, um, AI jambots, and so on, stickers, etc. So if you want some dice on the screen, just click on dice. You'll put a dice on the screen, you can click on that and go through the dice. Try and let's try to see what a timer. Let's put a timer in. Okay, there's a Pomodoro timer, there's a timer, there's a clock. So let's put in maybe that timer. Let's drag that into the page. Um, and we've got a time. You can change the time up here. 
5, 10, 25 minutes, have a 5 minute timer, and let's start, and it'll start timing down. Nice. Also on here, there are stickers which you can add to the page. If you want to look for fun things, again, search in here for things you want to look for. All the templates live here, the widgets I just started to show you. There are also some plugins. I haven't played with a lot of the plugins yet. One that is quite useful is an Unsplash plugin. If you click on Run, it'll basically give you access to the um, Unsplash website, a nice bank of images. So I can click on Run. So let's type in here, I want something to do with AI, and then we can take that image, drag it to my page, resize it, move it around, or whatever. So it's a nice image searching tool which is quite cool, and these images are um, copyright free. A couple of other features in here, up on the top bar, where you see this little clock. If you want another kind of timer, you can just click in here and set a timer for whatever time you want. So if I want either one minute, 30 second timer, you can just start that. It'll start a timer at the top of the screen. That's quite fun, let's just pause that. You want some ambient music for the pupils to listen to while you're working, then there's some, some music here you can have, different kinds of music, that may or may not work too well with the class, but maybe some ambient music might not be too bad. Let's put some ambient music in there. Um, and there's also voting as well, which I'll do another video on that. I think that's probably worth taking some time to look at. But you can do voting, and you can actually get the class to vote on particular topic areas as well. Oh, just the YouTube sharing, because I forgot to mention that earlier. I've got a YouTube page open. I'm going to just copy the sharing link, click on the page, and just do Control and V, and it will paste that video straight in. And it turns it into an active video page. So it's just the sharing link immediately embeds it and turns it into a video. That's quite nice. So Fig Jam, it's a really powerful tool. There's a lot of stuff in here, and I think there's probably a lot more videos that I can do to go through some of these features, um, like the AI tools, like the templates, and so on. But it's pretty easy to get started and have a play. I'll just do the sharing again, because I mentioned that earlier on. I'll just do it one more time. If you want to share your file, you click on Share, and, and you can copy that link and give it to um, people through a Zoom link or through a, a Google Classroom or whatever. If you want an open session where anybody can log in, then just click Start, and then for 24 hours your page will be open and anybody can access that via the link. If you don't do that, they've got to log in with an account um, to particular people you give access to. I love this because it is very easy to use it how Jamboard works, which is I will just throw a link into Zoom, have people access my, my page and brainstorm or collect ideas or have them all drawing in one space or whatever. It's, it's really cool. So that's a very quick run through of Fig Jam for now. I will do some more videos on some of the features like importing um, uh, Jamboards, going through the voting and some other things it will do. But I think there's enough there for you to get started. As I always say to my students when I'm doing whiteboard training, pen, text, shapes, posties and getting images in they're the important features everything else is kind of fun but you know you can play that at another time have a look have a play make sure you register um, for the free educators account then you get all of this for free it's well worth doing it doesn't cost you anything Jamboard's got a year it's going to stop in October 24 so you know you need to start moving over to other things and you can import all your Jambles over quite easily from that front page and I'll do some more on that in a bit as usual uh, like and subscribe I've got more videos coming I'll be back very soon with some more uh, tech videos and some science videos. I hope you found this useful. Um, any questions, please get in touch. Please let me know if you've got any other videos you want me to do on Fig Jam or some of the other Jamboard alternatives. And I'll be back soon. Thanks again for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.